welcome to our Tuesday installment of Nursery Rhyme Party Time. Yesterday, we talked about how nursery rhymes promote language development, and today we're sharing a bit about how nursery rhymes can enhance cognitive development. Here are a few cognitive skills that kids develop through nursery rhymes. Sequencing. Many nursery rhymes tell a story with a beginning, middle, and an end. This helps children understand that events happen in an order and put together that order in their head. You'll have a chance to experience this today as we share our Little Miss Muffet video, which is actually a sneak peek into our September monthly subscription course. Next, math skills. Many nursery rhymes include patterns, counting, and vocabulary related to size and weight, all useful math-related concepts. Today, we'll share a counting song from a previous course, one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. Finally, concepts such as alliteration, onomatopoeia, and imaginative imagery all promote cognitive development as they are experienced through nursery rhymes. We hope you and your little ones enjoy today's nursery rhyme videos. Don't forget to comment, share, and tag friends for entries into today's giveaway. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating Eat her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Little Miss Muffet came back to her tuffet to finish her curds and whey. Then back came the spider who sat down beside her and gave her a lovely bouquet. All right, we are gonna sing Little Miss Muffet a couple more times. I love this nursery rhyme. Can you help us act it out? This time, we are gonna get our own Miss Muffet. Can you find a doll to be Miss Muffet? So we've got our little doll here. Then you also are gonna need a tuffet. And a tuffet is kind of like a pillow or a stool. So we've got our little pillow and a blanket here that we've made a tuffet for Miss Muffet. You also need a bowl and spoon to, for Miss Muffet to eat her curds and whey. Curds and whey is kind of like cottage cheese. Then you're also gonna need a spider. This is our little spider that we've made and we've included instructions on how to make this simple craft, but you could just use your fingers like a finger a little spider too that would work. We, and then what's the last thing we need, Charlotte? You need a flower bouquet for the spider to give Miss Muffet at the end. All right, Charlotte, are you gonna be the spider? Charlotte is gonna be the spider and the bouquet. All right, let's sing it again. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ah! Little Miss Muffet came back to her tuffet to finish her curds and whey. Then back came the spider who sat down beside her and gave her a lovely bouquet. Oh, thank you, spider. I love that bouquet. <laughs> All right, let's try it one more time. Charlotte, would you like to be Miss Muffet this mm -hmm. time? Okay, so if you want to pretend you are Miss Muffet, you can try this activity with us. So why don't you sit down on your tuffet, Miss Muffet, and here's your curds and whey, and this time I get to be the spider. All right. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet came back to her tuffet to finish her curds and whey. Then back came the spider who sat down beside her and gave her a lovely bouquet. This next song is a simple counting song about fish. We're going to practice counting our fingers. Can you try this with me? One, two, three, four, five. Next hand. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, very good. Let's try a different way to count. Can you count my fingers? Can you sh yeah, start right here? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a couple different ways we can count to ten. Are you ready for the song? 
These are some really simple actions and you'll catch on as you see us do it. Here, stand up. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Very good. Should we try it one more time? Now you know what to do. Show me your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Very good. Now that you've gotten a taste of what is contained in our monthly music course, if you're interested in getting started with your own subscription, now is a great time to jump in. The current monthly course price is $19 a month, but that price is going up on September 1st. You can check out all the details and sign up at clapforclassics.com slash monthly music.